Has the bull market officially been initiated? This is the question we need to be asking ourselves right now, and this could be huge for Bitcoin and for cryptocurrency in general. So make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the most timely Bitcoin updates available on YouTube. So let's dive right into this. As you can see right now, Bitcoin has officially flipped market structure on the weekly time frame for the first time since November 2021, officially making higher lows and higher highs on the weekly time frame. And we have traded right now from key support to key resistance on the chart. In fact, the key support level at 16,300 was a trade setup that was given in advance over in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. And as you can see, I'm currently still holding multiple long trades with higher take profits. OK, this is very, very key, because if we are now able to come above this key resistance, you can see that we do have the doorway to Pump City. If the price of Bitcoin is able to come above this twenty five thousand dollar area, we will hit our next bullish target of that thirty thousand dollars. So are we going to reach that target? Honestly, I believe that we do. So let's talk about what's happening right now, very, very locally. Then we're going to get into some fundamentals, why I am so dang bullish right now. So why did we pump up to this level? Why are we getting a little bit of a wick to the downside? Well, we are coming up to key resistance, and this is a short setup that was given over in the Casper Crew VIP Discord as well. And as you can see, I am currently also holding some short trades as well from this area because it is resistance right now so why exactly are we finding resistance here and is this going to lead to a more significant move to the downside well the reason we are finding resistance here number one is because first of all we gave the setup i'm just kidding but really it's because we came up to an area of resistance and as we did we did see some bearish signs on the chart in fact if we take a look here at this order flow chart we can literally see 100 million short trades getting liquidated at that high and when you see something like that it tends to lead to a pullback or some kind of consolidation so i personally do think that we are going to see higher bitcoin prices and here's what i think is going to happen now first of all if you want to join the casper crew vip discord where we give these trade setups in advance guys literally long in the bottom and shorting the top you can go to patreon.com forward slash jason casper also if you want to take advantage of zero percent limit fees on bybit there's a link in the description of course only do this if you know what you are doing if you don't know what you're doing you're definitely not going to make money on bybit you're going to lose everything you have right all your fiat all your bitcoin all your friends are going to stop talking to you your girlfriend's going to dump you it's going to be a horrible time also guys if you want to learn how to trade this way 20 percent discount on the course jasoncaspertrading.com this will give you the clear point A to point B comprehensive system so you always know where you're looking to enter a trade, where to put your stop loss, take profit, and more. Okay, so let's get right into these charts. Why am I still bullish right now? First of all, we have officially flipped market structure. Second of all, the Federal Reserve yesterday has come out and they are actually dovish. The Fed continues to shrink rate rises with 25 basis points move yesterday. Jerome Powell came out. He announced that the Fed has made the decision now to only raise interest rates by 25 basis points. Why is this bullish? This is bullish because the Federal Reserve right now is becoming more dovish. They're easing off their um, tight policies and they're becoming a little bit more looser by raising interest rates less. Why is this bullish for Bitcoin? In my opinion, when I see something like this, it is showing me that the Federal Reserve is starting to pivot with their monetary policy. They're still coming out and saying, well, we, we don't know anything for sure and we don't know if this is going to continue. But the way they are acting is every time they announce a new rate hike, it's less and less and less. And we know that the more interest rates come down, the more bullish that is for risk assets like cryptocurrency, like stocks. And when we take a look at the dollar index right here, we can see that the dollar is officially also in a downtrend on the weekly time frame. And so if Bitcoin has flipped market structure bullish and the dollar has flipped market structure bearish and the Federal Reserve is starting to ease on their policy, to me, this is very bullish and the markets have reacted very, very bullishly. I mean, look at what happened to Bitcoin yesterday. 
right? We got a massive daily candle. We have now put in a higher high on this chart. And we know that if we can claim this green box, we are going to see much higher prices. Okay, so um, again, not only is the Fed easing up on their monetary policy, but check this out as well. And I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but basically they are going to be changing and this right here is the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. They are going to be changing the way they calculate inflation beginning this month in February, right? We're basically, instead of looking at the past two years and comparing our present day inflation to the past two years, they're going to be only comparing it to the past one year. Why is this so important? Because on paper, if they are going to change the way they calculate inflation, that is going to make inflation go down like crazy. In fact, we could see uh, a lower inflation by about 200 basis points if this happens, and it is happening. And the reason why this is so important, and of course, this is all fake, right? Inflation's fake. The market is fake. We need to understand how the system works. Everything's fake. Think about two years ago when the pandemic began. The economy of the world shut down. But what happened on paper? Everything pumped. Stock market, all-time highs. Bitcoin, all-time highs. Why? Because everything is fake and manipulated so that people at the top can make more money and the common person can lose everything. So we need to be thinking in terms of how the big players play this game, right? They pump their own bags and leave the common person with nothing. So basically, for the past year, we've been hearing all this talk, oh, recession, everything's going down to zero, everything's going to fall apart, right? Meanwhile, the common person is, is losing everything. Bigger players in the market, in the world, are able to buy things up on the cheap. Now, if you were a person uh, in a high status, I'm trying to be careful of the words I use here, and now you have a whole bunch of bags filled up with things you bought on the cheap, what would you want to do? You would want to pump those bags, right? So if inflation on paper is lower by 200 basis points, this would be a very, very interesting plot twist because what this would actually do is it would create a deflationary event. And if there's one thing central banks fear more than inflation, it's deflation. Why is that? Well, because if things are deflating, they are decreasing in value. And so this is going to basically cause now the, the Fed to try and stimulate the market. They're going to be decreasing interest rates. Uh, they're going to be maybe even printing more money. They're going to be trying to stimulate the economy in any way possible, just like they did two years ago at the beginning of uh, 2020. And what this could do is this could really see risk assets like the S&P 500, like Bitcoin, really start to pump like crazy and catch everybody off guard. And also, guys, this would lead to an even weaker dollar. Okay, this would lead to an even, an even weaker dollar. Uh, and we can see right now that the dollar is in a downtrend. And as long as this downtrend maintains, I do believe that we could see risk assets like Bitcoin and stocks continue to increase. And to add insult to injury now with the dollar being weak, the U.S. again has reached its debt limit. And if they do not raise the debt ceiling, it is going to have to, the U.S. is going to have to default by June. This is like four months away. And of course, the U.S. is not going to default. They're going to have to raise the debt ceiling. But this makes the U.S. look bad. This makes the dollar look bad in the eyes of the world. And so it's just showing more weakness for the dollars. We can clearly see this chart right here. Uh, this is the dollar index in a clear uh, downtrend. Okay, so the dollar is in a downtrend. Cryptocurrency has officially switched to an uptrend. We see actually a very bullish S&P 500 right now. And amidst all these fundamental things, when we look at these charts, right, specifically at these at these Bitcoin charts here, we can see, in fact, I'm, I'm going to go over now to um, an exchange that shows me more historical data, right? Let's check out this over here. This is the monthly time frame on Bitcoin. Now, check this out, okay? It might be a little bit difficult to see here, so I'm going to have to refresh the chart. But we are at a place right now that has only happened historically at the bottom of a bear market. And what do I mean by that? When we see the monthly market cipher be printing green dots, 
when we see the stochastic RSI in the monthly, the green line crossing over the orange line, for the past two Bitcoin cycles, this has been the bottom. Okay, this has been the bottom. We see that in 2015. We see that in 2019. Basically, February 2019. That actually began the relief rally leading up to basically Bitcoin coming almost back all the way up back to its all-time high, right? I mean, the all-time high was... Uh, we came more than halfway back to that 2017 all-time high before putting in a double bottom and the real bull market beginning. And right now, we are literally seeing the same thing. We are seeing the monthly time frame print the green dot on market cipher B. We are seeing the crossover of the stochastic RSI on the monthly where the orange line is curving up now over the green line. In the midst of this, we have all these bullish fundamentals going on. So for all these reasons, there, there is... I would say a pretty strong case to be made that the bottom right now is in. And if we start to see deflation because of the new way they're calculating CPI, and if the Fed continues to be so dovish with their monetary policy, I do think it's not so crazy to think that we could see another pump with crypto, with risk assets. Look at how everything is lining up right now, right? I'm looking at the, the, the bigger picture here. Things seem to be lining up to give us another big move to the upside as we look forward to that halving that comes in around April 2024. And this, in my opinion, if we just kind of range here, maybe come up, maybe put it in a double bottom, and then boom, hit into our real bull market. Very, very possible. So let's talk about now what is happening very locally on this uh, Bitcoin chart here. Let's just see, assume that the trend is our friend until the end of the trend. If we take a look at what has been happening here locally, I'm going to uh, turn off these indicators here and go to the daily time frame. We can see that we have basically been forming these bull flags with breakouts. Actually, let's go down to the four hour time frame. We have been forming these bull flags with breakouts. And if this trend is our friend, we can see that this bull flag broke out right over here and gave us this uh, target. Hang on. Gave us this target to our. Whoa, hang on. Sorry, guys, I'm flopping and groping over here with the trend lines. But that's okay. Gave us our target to the second bull flag right around this monthly level at 23K. And so now if we are going to assume that this bull flag is now going to break out, that is going to bring us to the $25,000 level. Why is that so important to come up to this $25,000 level? 25.2K, why is that so important? Well, it's because if we take a look at just the support and resistance zones on the chart. We can see if we come up to the daily time frame that the $25,000 level is literally the last resistance until we break out to that 30k level, okay? If we come back and take a look at this here, we can see that uh, yeah, if we break above this $25,000 August high, it's going to be a very very smooth move up to our bullish target of $30,000. Now, we do need to be aware that we might not go straight there. We might get a pullback as is kind of shown on my chart right here. We very well may get a pullback soon. Please be aware, everybody, that uh, first of all, you know, it's, it's never a good idea to enter into a long position or buy an asset after a massive pump like what we got yesterday. We need to wait for some kind of pullback. And right now, we are coming up to key resistances. We have the $25,000 zone. We have the Fibonacci golden pocket just above us. And when we do take a look at the chart, we are seeing some slightly bearish signs on market cipher B on the four hour time frame, looking like we are getting some bearish divergences, right? When we look at the four hour market cipher B here, we can actually see the dreaded upside down Sam Bankman Freed man boot pattern where um, we can, we can just clearly see the money flow and the momentum waves are getting lower as the price is getting higher into resistance. So please be careful. There very well is probably going to be a pullback coming soon. And of course, if we are prepared and ready, we can take advantage of that volatility. You know, like for example, the short trade that I am currently in right now, we were ready and prepared for this level. And that is how I was able to get into the trade. But in general, on a higher term time frame, I do think that Bitcoin is going to catch a lot of people off guard in 2023 and 2024. So that is it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click that bell. May God bless everybody watching and listening.
in the name of Jesus, the Messiah. I pray everybody is very blessed, even if you are not religious. I pray that the Lord bless you and reveal himself to you in a very personal way. I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.